uh, what's the what's the word of it? The music I'm using in the background, I have just chosen as I normally do. So I hope there's nothing which get pulled up with copyright. But I can't guarantee there will uh, there won't be. Yeah, uh, it's fine. Like so I said, this is more just. It might get muted. It might get muted later. I hope it doesn't, but mm -hmm. it might do. DG, are you recording it? Yeah. Okay. So worst comes to worst, like if people want to see it, I can. I don't know. Lead we have uh, we have that as a backup. We got tokens. Oh. You got tokens. Okay. Nice. Tokens are done. Bot. Good. Good. That'll be good. All animes watching too. Anime. Yeah. Fuck you. I thought you said fuck you for a second. <laughs> yeah. I was like, okay. Oh right. shit. <laughs> That's how anime, we're playing. Screw this. yourself. <laughs> I would never do that. <laughs> Go on, Emma. How dare oh, you yeah. watch this anime? God. <laughs> Vic, you thank can you. Stay. Thank you for your show of faith, Emma. It's nice to know that I'm appreciated. <laughs> Let's know that you know me so well. <laughs> it's a great start. Also, you might hear thunder and stuff like that. Ooh. But I haven't heard it for a while now, so maybe we're good. A storm from from the south. Mm. Why can I not look watch Emma stream? Uh, like you. You're not cool enough yet. <laughs> It should be on mine, not the um, Good Guy Gamers one. Well, no, I know it is, but I'm, I'm seeing the... Do I not have Emma's channel followed? No, I do. I'm weeping. Oh, don't. <laughs> weeping. I do. The sadness. Why I'm not it, even logged in. Not, why is it not coming on as online? What is this shit? Uh, is it is it the right one? It should have the... Channels, Emma. Emma. I just go to... I'm not logged in, so I just go to search. Yeah. I found it. Emma. Yeah, no, we're all here. Okay. Emma. <laughs> yeah, what's up? You need to do me a quick favor. Yeah, what's up? You need to go into settings. Settings? On 20. On roll 20, okay. Go down to game settings. Uh... The first one. Chat avatars. Oh, you want it to be just the names. names. <laughs> it's gonna drive me nuts. You not liking the little pictures. <laughs> I always have the I always have the little pictures though. I know, but I like same, the little pictures. Same, honestly. Man, drive me nuts! They're so huge on there. For you, DG. Oh, oh it's it's worse Anything. if you set them to large. If they're large, they're just like. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> they're ridiculous. Yeah, Look at our faces. Also, Vic, I don't know if I'm gonna draw this up. It depends. It's definitely gonna become some sort of animation since mm -hmm. I'm recording. We just don't know what kind of animation. Here's hoping. Right. Mm -hmm. Um. So, since there's already six people watching, apparently, one of them is me, but, you know. One of them's me! Uh, okay, so, it's four. <laughs> okay, there's three people watching. Oh, yeah! How do I find it? Hang on, Lance. Ba -da. Damn it, Too you beat slow. me! That is. Too ah. slow. <laughs> Look at him, his big old face on there. Mm. My big face? Watch. What? Watch the Emma de Lama on Twitch. Oh, sure. I was like, what is my face? He's staring at me. Watch it, Sarah. <laughs> Where are you posting my face? What? General. Oh, in general. Oh, yeah, there's that drawing. Yep, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yep. Yeah. There it is. Beautiful. That image is really old. <laughs> right, yes, no. Uh, Indy has apparently um, got here as well. Yeah, yeah. He and anime were like the two originals. Did it still say Happy Halloween? Oh, it does. It says Happy yeah, Halloween. Dead. We're dead. playing Dead by Daylight. <laughs> Is that what it says? Yep, yeah. it says Happy Halloween, Dead by Daylight. Dungeons and Dragons version. Oh, for sure. Is, uh, mm. I mean, we could put it. You want me to do a serial killer one? Let's uh, <laughs> yeah, Game suddenly changes. Oh my god, the festival turns into some yeah, just some horror movie. Fest, yeah. No, that... I have I have NPCs that I can just bring in and monsters and things. <laughs> that should fix. Sorry. If that doesn't Suddenly fix Suddenly basilisks. Oh, oh god, no. <laughs> Is that the most recent thing? Suddenly ever? basilisks. Yeah. <laughs> no <laughs> more! No more! Oh god. You guys did fine. Anyway. We were like level six! Yeah! Basilisks oh. are a CR3 creature. Yeah, guys. That's... 
We're they're getting not, together. Not CR two, I think. We're level ones and we're new adventurers. No, you're not. You're level threes. Oh yeah, I forgot. I was gonna say, did you? <laughs> you're level threes. Never you're mind. level threes. You're fine. You have abilities. You have things you can do. Um, <laughs> yes, we shall. Oh. Um, <laughs> Sorry, I updated it to Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> oh wait, no wait. Why are yeah. they Dungeons making fun of by me? Daylight. Oh, Dead by Dragons. I don't understand the joke, guys. But because I just got it, it. says Happy Halloween. <laughs> this goes. Uh, this goes really well with my character. This not understanding things. Ah. Good start. Yeah. Good start. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know. Um, oh, Emma, if you want to pull up our bios for everyone. I've turned out. I've turned off the chat uh, because it's giving me a bit of lag and I can't. Uh, I think I'm going to lose you guys on audio, and you don't want me coming in crackly or anything for this. Oh, no. So okay. I'm not looking at the chat, so sorry, chat. If you need me to see anything, then uh, let the others know. Yep. I am still watching, well. so I'm good. Did you? Yeah, I'll probably pull them up. Emma, they, show everybody our pictures. Oh, I will when it like makes sense. When, when we go when through the in. when yeah. we go through the introductions, yeah. um, we shall do the. If you could pull up the pictures, Emma, that's fine. There's right. 12 people now. <laughs> Who are oh, all Jesus. these people? Jesus, we're starting to bring in people. Cool. Um, <laughs> uh, no pressure. Totem's here! Dom, uh, if you reply to this, I'll give you a hundred dollars. Damn it, DG. Ooh. hundred bucks. Thanks, Totem. <laughs> Cheers, bud. I will, uh... Dollars? Right, okay. So you're paying for drinks on the trip, then. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Totem, I want one! Actually, no, wait. The non-existent dr drinks he can't buy, because he's not 21. <laughs> oh, oh no. You've been tricked. <laughs> You've been tricked. Age. In the US. In the UK's <laughs> fine, but in the US, no. No, that's not how it's supposed to work. <laughs> this is how it's supposed to work. Oh, no. It's, it's like it, it's like Korea, Totem. Apparently, I got told this and I didn't know it. If you're born in Korea, you're technically already a year old. What? So what? when you turn oh, 21 like in, in the... Korea, oh, you're like of that. age. Oh. But if you come to America, you're only 20. Oh, so do they, are what? they counting the home? womb? Is that what they're counting? Like when you're yeah, like oh. when you're born, you're a year old. I must be. It must be like a. Um, it's probably like how the, like the laws are the, the laws are written or something. It's like if you're be if you're um, younger than six months or something, it's fine for abortion or some shit. Probably something like that. Man hmm. politics must be fun. <laughs> but anyway, yes, we're here to play D and D, not talk about politics. Um, so, yes. is everybody ready? I think so. Maybe. Right, Emma, Emma is ready. DG, are you ready? Ready as I'll ever be. And Les, First are you ready? Day. I'm ready. <clears throat> then we shall begin. So, you guys are traveling adventurers of a sort. Um, some of you might know each other, some of you might not. What is known is that you guys have met up in the town of Leafside. There is a festival going on. The Feast of Liberation, as it is called. Um, such called um, because of the band of adventurers who saved the town a very long time ago from a very evil creature. Something known as a manticore. But that is long forgotten history. People just like to eat and drink. So whether you were here by purpose or whether you were just here passing through, um, you've heard of the Feast of Liberation. It's starting... Uh, today. So you decided to go down to the town centre and um, basically see what's what and what's going on. As you arrive, you are greeted by the scent of cooking meats, um, the scent of spices in the air, the sound of music playing. There's a band off to the side. And there are many carnival games, axe throwing, um, <clears throat> uh, axe throwing, whack a, uh, whack -a rat, um, archery, there's a pie eating contest which is getting ready to begin and there is a shady corner that looks like people are playing some dice or some type of other sort of gambling. So, I will move you over to the marketplace map right now. Ooh. Oh, uh, it's so cute! The three adventurers we have with us today um, are going by the names of Hugo of Griger, uh, Zeta, and Mikael Isahumain. <laughs> so, Lovely group here. <laughs> who wishes to be introduced first? Who wishes to go first in introducing their character? Well, apparently, Mikhail is the only one of us who knows about the world, so he should go first. Well, well I disagree. I think we should go 
uh, top of the list, which is reading Hugo right now. It changed. <laughs> I don't know how it did that, but it changed. Yeah, it did. <laughs> oh, uh, okay. Hugo goes first. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Wait, I don't I don't know introductions though. It's been like over a year since me, so I wanna okay, go we'll, I wanna go we'll next. Let you, we'll let you not go first. So yeah. Adler, do you mind taking it away? I will do. Uh I am playing Hugo of Gregor. I am a human fighter. Um Hugo's relatively tall at six feet, getting on in life at forty. And he's traveled here because he's hurt of the festival and he'd like to see what it's like. Okay, thank you. Um, next then, Mikael. Uh, it's Mikkel. Uh Thank you very much, Mikkel. Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, so Mikkel, he just he just looks like you know your normal guy because he is your normal guy. He's he's got the brown hair, little little beard, just kind of your typical peasant looking, average build, short, maybe like five eight, five nine, uh, and he's he's just really looking to have a good time he's super excited he's been staying in the tavern you know uh he's like really hungry and and looking forward to the contest and stuff and and yeah yeah he's he's middle-aged all that he's just a normal guy just a normal guy and you're playing so your your race is human and your class is uh, he's a sorcerer yeah so normal with a he's little sorcerer. extra sprinkles with little extra sprinkles <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> Talking of extra sprinkles, Zeta. <laughs> what? I don't know. Uh, Zeta is a young, uh, seventeen-year-old girl. She's wearing kind of fancy clothes, but not too obvious fancy, especially for a festival. She has just entered town, and she's here to see what all the noise is about. And uh, she seems to be by herself and just kind of. Looking around everywhere, kind of nervous like. She is a human uh, sorcerer. So, three humans, two sorcerers, and a fighter. So, most human party I've ever had. <laughs> so, no special yeah. things, just humans. Just um, humans. Right, so the, is it, the festival is here. There is um, uh, the sound of music playing in the background, which you can all hopefully hear. Um, though it's just gone into a room, <laughs> so give it a second. <laughs> there it is. Um, Shut up, yeah, so Nate! She's not possessed! What do you guys wish to do? You're at a festival. Hmm. Uh, Zeta's gonna go around and look at the stalls, because she, she has no idea what's going on. Okay. Um, people... You're walking around and people are um, greeting you, you know, you know, happy liberation day and, you know, happy feast of the festival and this, that and the other. Um, a lot of people are walking around in um, decently fancy clothes, a lot of very bright colors. Um, the time oh, of the good. festival, so I it's, that. yeah, it's, it's, it's late spring um, sort of time right now. So there's a lot of, a lot of blues, a lot of greens, a few yellows like yourself, but uh, it's just all generally bright colors. Um, as you're walking, as you're walking around, um, you start hearing like people shouting out, "Whack a rat! Test your luck! Can you beat the Rat Man?" Um, Whack a what? Whack a rat? Is that what he said? <laughs> Whack a rat! Yes, my oh yes, gosh. my dear. Would you be interested? Uh. You oh, fighter, you oh, must be interested. Oh. Come, test your strength, test your luck, and test your speed most of all. Oh, I can't say no to that. <laughs> um, so you see over at this store, um, there is a there's a human male um, who introduces himself as Gustav Main. Um, man in his late 30s, fair paunch uh, to him, sort of uh, slick back hair and a uh, chin strap sort of beard. Um, and he's standing there and he's holding a club. Um, next to him is a large pipe. Um, with a, which is angled upwards, um, and there's a ladder at one end. And he says, it's five, five copper pieces to play. If you manage to hit the rat, you gain your money back, and five more copper pieces. So, would you be interested? Yes, I would be. Very well, good sir. Here. And he offers you the, um, he offers you the club. Nice. 
Alright. Now what's gonna happen is, and he reaches behind his back, he pulls out this um this wooden carved rat. Um for, you know, it's a pretty sizable thing. He says, I will throw this down the pipe from the top. You must hit it when it exits and before it hits the ground. If you make your hit, you gain your money back, and again, another five copper pieces on top. One silver in total. Mm hmm All right. So do you pay him? I do pay him. Okay, so he takes the cobalt. Thank you, good sir. And uh, he walks up the ladder, and um, he gets ready at the top and goes, Right now, the key to this is not to be taken by surprise. And he just lobs it straight down. I need you to make <laughs> an attack roll, a strength-based attack roll. Strength. Based attack roll. Um, just a strength then? Just plus no. Four? So this would be strength plus your proficiency. So for you, just make an attack roll with your with your longsword. My longsword. Okay. Because that's for you. That's strength based. Twenty. Yeah. Nailed it. <laughs> absolutely. You absolutely thwack the damn thing. So oh, it yeah. goes flying <laughs> out, and you're just like you're just ready. Like baseball stance, just like right here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. Rat comes. You're like bloody hell. This is I've seen I've seen fast I've seen faster. Uh, actual rats than this, and you just smash it, um, and it splinters into pieces. <laughs> a couple of people are watching, like, cheer, like, Way! Gustav stands down, congratulations, good sir, here's your silver. He hands it to you. Oh yeah. So, anybody else? Does that, do you, young miss? Or you, whoever you are? <laughs> and he gestures over to, um, uh, to you, uh, Mikil. Or whatever your name is. <laughs> he is not paying any attention, by the way. Okay. He has his sights on something else. Uh, no, I don't think I'm strong enough. Well, you never know your luck, good miss, but I appreciate your honesty. Have a good, have a good feast of the liberation. And he starts, like, shouting out to the rest of the crowd, does anybody else feel like they are strong enough to be able to complete the task. Uh, I'm um, going to I'm gonna turn to the man I just saw demolish a wooden rat and just... <laughs> oh, yeah, it just, got, it just got blasted. <laughs> and I'm just going to look up at him and be like, how did you do that? Oh, well, you know, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. You get used to it. <laughs> festival veteran, you know. Oh, this is a festival? Yeah. What's it for? Celebrating. This one's called the Feast of Liberation. Liberation of what? Uh, the town. From what? <laughs> um, would I know this? Uh, are you proficient in history? Let's see. I don't think so, no. <laughs> I am. <laughs> <laughs> Being not from this side of the continent, um, you probably wouldn't be too familiar. Um, <laughs> but what you've told her is probably the extent of what you know. Um, right. It doesn't go unknown to the rest of you, though, that there is this giant statue of a manticore <laughs> just in the middle of town. Oh. Because <laughs> uh, that's what this beast of a thing is. Ah. Uh, right, well, I'll point at that and say, probably that thing. <laughs> oh. I'm just going to go on up to it. Right okay, here. The, you, you walk up to, the, you walk up to the, uh, the statue, and there is a plaque um, stood in the front, and it says, um, in remembrance, in remembrance of the brave adventurers who lost their lives freeing us. Thank you, adventurers. The unnamed. The unknown. Um, and it has a date on it, which is about 40, 50 years ago from this point. Oh. Um, the statue itself is of a, of a large manticore that's just like... To a, to a child, to somebody who is innocent, it would look like it's sleeping. Um, but for those who are, you know, adults and or those who are more perspective, you notice that there are cuts along the um, the statue of this manticore. They look like wear and tear, but they look a bit more purposeful. This seems to be a depiction of the last moments of this creature, or what was this creature. We're gonna be huh. fighting a damn manticore later, guys. <laughs> <laughs> as you're as you're inspecting it. Um, a small halfling sort of uh, moves up beside you and says, Hey, little lass, are you looking for... Are you uh, interested in the town's history? Uh-huh. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Well, 
Well, uh, let me let me enlighten you. Now the town the town of uh, Leafside was uh, a very very old one. We've been here for a few hundred years at this point. Uh, my grandpappy's grandpappy's grandpappy was one of the first people who actually settled here. Uh, by the way, uh, names names are. Uh, yeah, names are Roderick Fleetfoot, by the way. Uh, I'm Zena. Smell... Pleasure, pleasure, mess. And he sort of offers his hand to you. I shake it. Pleasure, mess. Now, uh, the, the history of the town. And he starts sort of explaining to you um, a legend of how these adventurers came into town one day. Um, they were just, they looked like just normal people. And they saw the way that the manticore was oppressing and preying on the people here. And they decided to band together uh, to defeat this creature. Though of the six that were that fought it, um, only two came out with their lives, and they are remembered eternally at this festival. As this guy's explaining it, um, Mikkel, uh, what are you doing? Oh man! So Mikkel smelled uh, those pies being ready or getting mm. ready. He he is like drawn to it. Yeah. So there's a. Um... The pie-eating contest is kind of in this this direction. It's near where the statue is. Um, and as you walk over, you can see there's a um, a couple of sort of tarpaulings, um, and there's a long table. People are starting to sit down and uh, sort of get ready, and people are just discussing, and um, it looks like people are getting in preparation for the contest. He is um, greeting everyone he walks by. And they are <laughs> greeting you back. Um, uh, I'm Maker here, yes, maker. <laughs> well, you have oh, some strange looks, but <laughs> as you um, as you're walking through the um, the halfling he's talking to Zeta sort of notices you on the way through. And he's like, uh, uh, one one minute, lass. Just uh, I'll get back to explain this. Uh, hey there, you. Oh, hello, you good, sir. You look like you're interested in the pies. Oh, pies, they are filled with. Uh, Smells of goodness for Miko. Yeah, that'll be that'll <laughs> probably be the um, that'll probably be the venison, the venison pies. Uh, me and myself, uh, we got a pie eating contest coming up. Uh, one of the major what? parts of the festivities. Would you uh, would you be interested? Am I eating the son of Ven? Miko, uh, I'm very unsure. All of a sudden, uh, this is pie. Uh, no, dear, dear. Um, the, the name of the Miko. I don't know you venison. well enough. I'm so sorry. I'm just Miko. Ah, oh, pleasure, Miko. Uh, um, Roderick. Roderick Fleetfoot. I'm looking over the halfling at this... Fleetfoot? Where have they gone? Individual. Like, what the <laughs> fuck? Where did they go? Did we catch them? Uh, no. Your feet, sir. No, Fleet. Yes, Fleetfoot. yes, they've, they've gone. Where have oh, they gone? That's my surname, man. Oh, oh yes, yes, Miko knew that. It was a joke. <laughs> funny, Miko's funny. <laughs> And he says you're sounding like a really shitty Pokemon. <laughs> right. Um, well, enjoy enjoy yourself, Miko. Uh, if you want to enter the yes. if you want to enter the the contest, uh, that'll be uh, winner takes winner takes all. And he sort of stands up on this little. Um, he moves over to where the pie eating contest is. And actually, stands up and goes, "Yes, the pie eating contest. Winner take all. It's three silver pieces to enter, and anybody who enters will get the prize." And Miko also can pie. eat the sons of Ven. And beef, and uh, there's a venison pies, we have beef pies, we have steak and ale, we have all the pies. Mikkel is ready. Mikkel will do this. Uh, I like I like that enthusiasm. Uh, there'll be three silver pieces from you, and you can take a seat. Yeah, absolutely! And he hands you five. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, uh, I'm ready! Will, Mikkel's will ready! Paid me, good sir. No, uh, Mikkel is ready! Mikkel... Enjoys it. The rest is for your feet. Catch them, sir. Catch them. <laughs> You're a weird one. And he pockets the uh, he pockets the change and says, "Does anybody else seem interested in the pie eating contest?" Uh, no, just why is eating pies a contest? Because consumption is the devil. <laughs> now what? Eating is evil. <laughs> well, eating this much can be seen as quite evil. I yes, and there are the piles. <laughs> <laughs> there are piles of pies, like easily a good, I don't know, 70, 80 pies. They're just, just stacked up 
uh, to the top, and you you can smell the sort of the, the savory aroma of like the meat pies coming towards you. Um, sitting at the table already, there is a two humans, um, a dwarf, and a half orc looking gentleman. Hello, I'm Mikro. Yes, I'm Mikro, and yes, I am Mikro. <laughs> and they they all greet you, and they seem seem quite happy. And the half orc says, "I like this one." Oh, oh. Mikro, come sit here. Oh yes, yes, yes. And he sits. Yeah. Right. You've been here before, Miko. No, 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 no. Miko is. You're gonna enjoy. Is... You're gonna enjoy this, lads. Oh. You're gonna enjoy this very much. It's mm. great, great food. Miko enjoys it already. Uh, Miko could eat everything. I'm sure Miko could. Oh um, yes. A few minutes later, uh, half thing says, "One more. Any spot for one more? No. Right." And he turns to the rest of you, ladies and gentlemen. We're about to we're about to start the pie eating contest, and I look over these fantastic contestants: the three humans, the half orc, and our reigning champion, Hello, I'm the dwarf, our mountain dwarf friend, by the name of Bogan Expert. Um. Now the rules are simple: consume as many pies as possible until you tap out. We have enough pies to feed everybody. Take your places. Take your forks and your knives. And let the eating commence. And with that, you're each anybody who's at the everybody who's at the stall is presented with a pie and some utensils, and just people just start going at it. He is so um, not going to use utensils. Just hands. <laughs> and you're not the only one. The half orc as well, just like one hand, just into the into like the steaming hot pie, and just starts like eating it by the fistful. Um, you get about two or three in. Um, you get about two or three in before you start to feel sort of the, you know, the, uh, the effect of it. Um, I would like you to make a constitution saving throw, please. You will be contested by the others. Whoever has the lowest constitution saving throw will be eliminated from this round. How do you do that? Okay, so go onto your character sheet. Yes. You see on the left-hand side, um... Saving throws. Do yeah, I just click throws. constitution? So click, click where <gasps> it says constitution. That's so much easier just, than before. <laughs> yeah, it'll just roll it for you. It's just there. 21. Oh, very respectable. These um, are so good! Ooh, half orc gets a 9. Mm. The dwarf gets a 12. Not very good. Human gets I a 7. I could eat seven. so much more! Okay, so one of the humans um, who's sitting like sort of to the end, a rather thin gentleman who you're not quite sure what he's doing, but he's into his third and he's just like... Mm. Mm. No, I'm good. He just kind of sits up. I'm gonna go walk this off. That was and fast. He sort of gets up and starts. There's about five minutes of eating at this point. You just everyone's just be shoveling it in at full speed. Um, so human two is human two is gone. Um, oh. Still the still the first human, um, the half orc and the dwarf and Mikkel left. <laughs> um, a couple of minutes later, um, you're about another two pies into it. Um, and a few of you are starting to feel the effects. I would need you to make other, another constitution saving throw, please. Okay, an 11. Ooh, hold up, gets a natural 20, the dwarf gets 21. Oh. Okay, um, I need you to make another one, Emma, because you're tied with the human right oh. now. A little bit better. Oh, yes! Okay, no, the human fails. Um, so again, the other human oh. who's on the end, a slightly portly gentleman, um, decides that he's eaten far far much enough, but he didn't decide quite in time for his body, uh, which realized it a lot longer. So he stands up, goes to walk away, and you just watch as he just, like, keels over. Ah, <laughs> <no>. <laughs> so he starts, like, rolling on the floor, like, holding his stomach, like, oh, my belly. Is he okay? He's dead. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. He's dead. <laughs> He's still moving. Not oh. Or maybe not. He's dead. <laughs> Just kidding, Miss Joker. <laughs> and Mikkel says between mouthfuls. Okay, it's between Mikkel the half orc and the dwarf. Um, Mikkel, constitution saving throw, please. Oh. Mikkel loves oh. pie. This is now Mikkel's favorite the food. The dwarf, the reigning champion, Bogan Axebeard, is down. Um, he just takes um, he just starts like shoveling in. Um. And you're watching him. He's not using one of the things he was given. He's using a ladle, which he's brought to the table. Just eat this pie. And he just takes, like, a massive chunk of it and then just, like... 
You see him go cross-eyed and just poof, onto the table head first. <laughs> um, the half orc is just like Rrr! just ah! keeps on bubbling into his gut, into his tuster mouth. Um, yeah, it is a very unsettling display. <laughs> the, the half orc and is just like covered in stuff. And Mikkel as well is like hands in, um, just <laughs> eating this this pie. And you're like. Probably about 12 pies gone down at this point. You're doing really fucking well. Um, and these are like deep dish, you know, very, very substantial pies. And they are the nicest thing you've tasted in a very long time. <sighs> um, you're presented with a final one. Um, both of you and the half orc finish your pies uh, at the same time and you're both slid one. You both look at it, look at each other, look back at the pies, make a constitution saving throw, please. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no, oh, Miko! No. <laughs> you look at it and think, you've... you've had enough. You've... This is very good, oh, no. good Miko! <laughs> <laughs> and the half-orc just starts devouring it and you decide, no, now is not the time. You can't handle anymore. And with that, um, the, uh, the half-orc is still devouring at breakneck speed and he keeps going, even after Mikkel has stopped. <laughs> for a good, like, two or three minutes more. He gets to another, like, two pies, and then he just pushes away his utensils and raises his arms, and the crowd goes, <laughs> Miko like... mimics it. <laughs> <laughs> Roderick, uh, Roderick Fleetfoot stands up and goes, Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was a fine display by our new half-orc champion. Thank you for this. Thank you for watching the pie eating contest of the Feast of Liberation. Come back later for the, uh, come back later for the feast. Again, done by yours truly. Roderick Fleetfoot. Thank you! And the crowd, the crowd sort of claps and um, people start to disperse and go back to the various stores and whatnot. Nice. Oh, that is Miko's favorite food, no doubt. <laughs> Impressive display, Miko. Oh, Couldn't thank you! Yes, I am Miko! Well, nice to meet you. I am Hugo. Hugo? Hugo where? From Gregor. Oh! Miko does not know where that is. <laughs> on the other continent. Oh, Quite far away. Oh, yes, 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 of course. Miko was testing you. Aha. Uh -huh. Good to know. Yes, yes. Miko smells more things. Miko's not good at this standing and chatting with people. But. Miko, aren't about... you full? What? Aren't you full? Yes. You just ate like twelve pies. Oh, Miko's favorite food. <laughs> you still up for more? Oh, Miko could have different things. You're gonna make yourself sick. What's this? It's sick. <gasps> yes, a bodily reaction to having too much. Yes, Miko will be very careful not to have that happen. Uh huh. But, okay. But. Uh... Yes, miniature person. You ate twelve pies. That is too much. I have never had pie. There is not too much when you've never had. But you just—I don't. Uh... Who are you? I am Mikkel. I'm Zeta. Zeta. Lovely. <laughs> Well, let's go see what else is around. And you guys are standing around and having this um, having this conversation. The mood starts to shift slightly in the crowd. Um, you're starting to hear a commotion coming from uh, one of uh, the other end of um, the other end of the uh, the square, sort of this sort of direction. Um, towards where the food is, actually, and this is where a lot of the smell has been wafting down of the cooking meats, etc. Um, a few seconds later, an individual runs out um, of one of the alleys um, in this direction and goes, Everybody! We gotta go! We gotta go! Every and the man grabs him and comes out and is like, what's, what's going on? What's going on? It's like, <laughs> Oh God! And as he shouts that, a massive oh, creature in the bathroom. Just <laughs> the dungeon! slams down. Oh, um, they're in the dungeon. Just vaults over one of the um, 
one of the houses in that corner of the uh, cat corner of the square and slams into the floor. Um, it roars, great club in one hand, and people start to scatter. There's screams. Um, it then reaches into the tent where it landed and grabs just a fistful of um, something, pulls out, and you can see it's just like this the cooked meats and just start stuffing its face. Oh, um, he's here for the all... competition! Miko will go face him! He just starts <laughs> stuffing his face with Miko. all the stuff. Come on, new friends! People are, starting to, people are starting to scream and run away from this thing. Oh my god. This isn't meant to be here. Wait, I ate what? 12 What are you guys doing? <laughs> We're gonna as get you, As you approach it, it um, everybody stop. As you approach it, it sort of sniffs through the air, um, like... <laughs> looks towards you and just bellows in your direction. I would like everybody to please roll initiative. Uh, Emma, Aww, make sure yeah. you click on Meeple and then roll initiative. So, yeah, Emma, so uh. here's how it's going to work. Click on your, click on Meeple, click on your token. Okay. And then go onto your sheet. There is a button which says initiative somewhere in the middle of yes. your page at the top. And I click that. Um, so with your, with your thing selected, click that. And that'll roll your initiative for you and bring it up on the. I hate list. both of you. <laughs> <laughs> this shy little girl who doesn't know what's going on is dragging this first. fight and she's gonna go first. Hello, well, I'm Miko. First, so it's fine. And this Sorry. is how Emma died. <laughs> so. Yes, um, Zeta, you are up first. What are you doing? This ogre is le reaching for his club, and he gets ready to um, swing into the humans who dare approach it. I gotta remember which spells I have. I have that one, and that one, and that one. Ooh, and that one. Oh, and that one! We'll just do that one. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, let's do that one. What does it do again? You can't tell uh, me what now. <laughs> I know! Listen, it's been a while. It's been yesterday! <laughs> Okay, I can't do that one because Mr. Old Man is in the way. <laughs> so she's gonna you. cast, she's gonna panic and cast Ice Knife. Okay. Um, make your make your attack roll then against the ogre. Okay. Um, Thirteen. Uh, that does hit. Uh, roll damage, please. Uh, let me roll again so I don't get that stupid. Yeah, so you don't get the crit. Okay. <laughs> Fuck's sake, come on. There we go. There we go, okay. So it needs to make a dexterity saving throw. Um, so you guys, what? well, you guys don't see. What you see actually is this icicle um, shaped like a knife just fly past your heads and it slams into the, um, the front of the ogre and rears back in pain and roars um, as the knife just explodes in a cacophony of cold. Um, Deck saving throw, it succeeds. So is that half damage or is that no damage? No damage, right. So it takes the piercing damage, but the cold damage does not seem to affect it. Um, it seems to move out of the way of a lot of the shards. Uh, that is your action. Do you wish to do anything for your bonus action or your movement? Um, no. Okay. That's Zeta's turn. Hugo of Greiger, what are you doing? All right. This um right. this tent this tent by the way is just flattened. That's okay. Fine. Okay. That's good to know. Um. I am going to toll the dead. Okay. Um. DC the twelve. Um. Wisdom against that thing. Okay. He's twelve. Uh, it makes it, so it takes no it takes no damage from that. Shit. Um. So you reach, you reach out with your hand and invoke your powers, and the rest of you hear sort of the faint bells ringing. And it shakes its head and then just roars at you again. Ah. Um, that is your action. Do you do anything for your bonus action or your movement? Mm, I will move over here. Okay, so you move closer to it. Mm -hmm. uh, Mikkel, you're up. Okay, so does he have an action and a bonus action? Everyone has an. A you all have an action and a bonus action. A bonus action is a specific thing okay. um, that can only be used by specific action, uh, okay. specific pieces. Okay. He'd like to do a bonus action first uh, and, okay. and yell out, "Hello, I'm Miko. Who are you?" <laughs> okay. 
Talking is a free action, so that's not a bonus act. Like a bonus I know, it's a, a joke. Bonus, yeah, it's a joke. It... <laughs> okay. Miko, no, it's not <laughs> friendly. Oh, I thought it was eating competition. It's just a. Okay, never mind. And he's gonna do his uh, his witch bolt. <laughs> You're gonna go straight for the witch bolt. Okay. Uh, make Wait, your oh. make your attack roll. So, in the middle of your sheet, it should say witch bolt. Click that. And it will roll for you. We take the left number of the two, which it will show. No, Holy doesn't shit. matter. Oh, damn. Okay, I listen to on, little human. Click in the chat <laughs> where it says witch bolt. So. Oh, okay. Oh, it says what level? No. Uh... Uh, well, you have first or second level. So were you casting that as a first or second level witch bolt? Uh. I'll do. How many second do I get? If I cast it a second, what does he have left? You have two second level slots, I think, and three first levels. So if I do it at second, uh, I can still cast the other stuff, right? You can cast one more second level spell. How yeah. many first levels can I cast then? Um, three, I think is what three, you just You have three first levels and you have two second level spells. Oh, okay, so I'm not like out of... No, no, no. Oh, okay, okay. Actually, uh, no, you have four, you have four, first, level, four first levels, sorry. You have four first levels and two second levels. Oh, okay. Well, he'll do, he'll do level two then. Okay. So a second level Witch Bolt. So I hit submit? Yeah, hit submit. Jesus Christ. All right. So that's a lot of damage. I'm Miko! Good time. Um, what's that? So that's 22, 36... Um, 44 points of damage. Um, <laughs> as yeah. you watch, the... <laughs> Hello! Fuck. All right. The ogre goes from being incredibly healthy to immediately on death's door as this just cacophony of lightning blasts <laughs> from the humanoid, um, known as Mikkel, and just engulfs this ogre. It yells in pain um, as lightning just racks every part of his body. Um, it is still alive, if barely. Oh, this is good. Is this not good? Uh, it's very good. Settle ah, down, Miko. Settle down, Miko. Oh, Miko is calm. Okay, the ogre is going to move his attention immediately from the heavily armored thing to the thing that almost killed it in one blast. Hello. Um, it's going to stumble over here, still engulfed by the lightning, and make a great club attack against Miko. Ah. Um, does a 22 at your armor class? My armor class is does. 12. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, uh, yes. so Mikul, you take 12 bludgeoning damage as um, the massive club just crashes, crashes into your body. Okay, so I subtract that from... Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. Ow! Mikul! Nothing very nice to Mikul! Um, but that is the ogre's turn because it can only make one attack a turn. So, Zeta, you're up. Uh, She's going to cast... Aganzar's Scorcher. Just, um, just as a point of note, the lightning is still emitting from Mikul. Oh, actually, no, it might not be. Mikul, I need you to give me a concentration check. So I need you to give me a constitution saving throw, please. See if you can maintain the lightning. A constitution so you're gonna, saving. It's right below your proficiency next to your abilities. Yeah, just square. the same yep. thing I did with the pie, With right? the pies, yeah. Yep. yeah. Ooh, not good for me. Oh. No, so the lightning does dissipate. Ow! Um, you failed the constitution saving throw. As, it, as the Great Cup smashes into you, the lightning dissipates. Um, so yeah, Zeta, uh, do you wish to do the... Aganzar's Scorcher. Okay, what is that uh, save? Dexterity. Dexterity save. Uh, it won't matter, it's I've got two hit points left. Um, takes half damage if it fails. So, don't for shits and giggles. No. <laughs> um, so you watch as the little girl uh, waves, this, no. waves, waves this wand and in like a up sweeping motion and just this wave of fire. Uh, sorry, no, this line of fire just emits along the floor and just engulfs this ogre. It just bursts into flames, starts screaming in agony. Um, the fire dissipates, the lightning dissipates, its eyes roll into the back of its head and just goes... Oh. Falls face first um, onto the dirt, dead. Jeez. That is dead. Yes, Go. this I know. I do not expect you to get a natural 20 on your a fucking <laughs> witch bolt. 44 damage. Yeah. That's um, well, another sort yes. of roll, almost max damage. Jeez. So, Dom, I'm going to assume this is going to be a short one. This is going to be a short one. <laughs> uh, mm. 
ah, with that please. the with that the ogre is on slightly on fire um definitely still twitching a bit from the latent lightning in its in its system and um yeah it's now just lying on top of destroyed uh stockpile of food Miko's gonna dust himself off a little bit you know stand up straighten his uh Miko, are you okay? Ah, Miko, uh, Miko's pretty sure that hurt. Ow! Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> well, you heard it a fair bit. What was that? That was Miko! Well, no doubt. Yes, yes. Little girl that said was... it was in competition, so Miko, you know, did what Miko had to do, I, I guess. Miko yeah. used Witch Bolt, Hugo. Uh-huh. Ah, yes, that was no, what yeah. Miko did, yes. Okay. God damn. About about this time, um, and this, from the from the ogre starting to attack you guys, till now. Maybe twelve seconds have passed. Maybe. <laughs> That's so quick, like, one round is six seconds, so you guys knocked it out in about nine to ten seconds. Um. So the people who were running away have suddenly just like, the sound <laughs> of the ogre slamming into the floor have like stopped, turned. And they're just looking like open jaw at the three of you um, <laughs> standing in front of this thing in the wreckage and just a massive cheer just goes up from the crowd the band starts playing ah! there's one voice however that doesn't seem too pleased um and the halfling from earlier this poor bastard um runs over no 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 this is a disaster the meats the food the feast fleetfoot Mikkel, hello hello Thank i'm you for that thing um, Mika. um, oh, bollocks, uh, Fleetfoot, why, why so sad, please? We, this was the food, it's eating the damn food. Yeah, we food right here, and he points to the, on fire. Yeah, okay. it's just like, it, <laughs> yeah, God. yeah. Mm. The, the other two of you look across and it's just like, it's ruined, it's full of muck, it's just got, the ogre is just like all over it. Um, the logo is filthy, yeah. it's like, it's all in the dirt, it's all in the dust, it's just destroyed. Mm, it smells so good, Fleetfoot! It's, it's no good, it's no good, oh! Damn it, damn it, bollocks, crap, fuck, piss, damn- Oh my! Ah. Listen, Fleetfoot, I think you should be a little happier the ogre is dead. I am happy the ogre is dead, I am thankful that you have saved us all, thank you for that, but we, we have nothing for the festival! Um, unless... Friends, would you help the town? This is a dire need, please. Yes, Mika will sacrifice himself for meals for others. <laughs> Slice away! <laughs> and he, like, opens his arms. <laughs> Mika, no, calm down. Mika, no! No? Oh, uh, just... puts Mika's arms down. Just a joke! <laughs> Funny! Ooh. Right, um, um, no, um, we... We, we, we don't have stockpiles of food. We don't have the stockpiles of food. Um, we've got to go. We, we've got to get some more. You you look capable, the three of you. Um, we need you to... Uh, sounds stupid and name and just... Uh, it's the only idea I've fucking got. Can you go hunting? We need game. We need, like, something. Um, like a boar or a deer or something. Yes. Hunting. Oh. For food! Yes, yes. Exactly, Mikul. Exactly. <laughs> Oh, I guess we'll Zeta's go kind of just stuttering behind everyone, <laughs> like looking around, kind of nervous. Well, I guess we go hunting she's, now. She's muttering, she's muttering in some weird language. It almost sounds like the, it almost sounds ethereal in nature. What she's speaking, um, it's kind of heavenly. It's quite nice actually. I do to. not like that noise, little human. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> And she turns to Mikkel. A little human made, uh, what wa ba <laughs> Oh, I did. Sorry. Oh. Nothing to be sorry, little human. Just never, ever do it again. <laughs> <laughs> I guess speaking foreign languages is not the best idea. Especially when no one can understand it. Um, 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 yeah, no, can you, I, I hate, I hate to ask, because it's, we, we try not to if we can, but we're, we are allowed to under circumstances, and this would probably 
count under those circumstances. Um, could you go into the wood and hunt for us, please? Um, the three of you. You should be fine. There's, there's three of you. You seem powerful. You should be okay. I mean, he took a hit from an ogre. Um, you should be fine. I guess we'll go. Fleet Fox. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, yes, Miko. Is this like competition before? You bring back most meat. You get um, you get to pay I mean, Fleetfoot in silver, right? No, yes, just like not, game before. Not not like <laughs> not like game before. No, no. Um, this is just this is a favor. So there's no no gold or anything. I mean, I might be able to pay you. Um, I might be able to get the mayor to get something for you guys. No, no. You you need to go into the forest. Probably act together, um, because. There's things in the forest that might not be too happy with you being in, but it'll be fine, you'll be fine. Um, I'm sure you'll be okay. You just took care of that ogre, for God's sakes. Um, the, uh, the, the, um, go into the forest, find some big game for me, um, and bring it back, and I can cook up, uh, I can cook up enough for a feast. I might be able to get some together, get together some other stuff here, but we need something big. We need, like, the big thing for the feast. Um, like a deer, or a boar, or a, a bull, or something. What, whatever you can find in the forest, please. Miko will do this. Miko understands favors, Fleetfoot, and he's gonna, he's gonna. Uh, I, is Fleetfoot showing them where the forest is? Do they know? Uh, the forest, the forest is um, right, right next to the uh, the town. Okay, so he knows where um, the forest is. The the Fay Woods, yeah. To bring you back to the map map area. Oh, leafside, okay. Okay. A leafside sits kind of on this corner. Um, of where this tax is. So it's basically on the seaside and then it's into the Fay Wood. Okay. The Fay Wood runs across all this area. Um, and it's just this dense, thick woodland. Um, okay. Then Miko's gonna kind of head to that give, way. To but give, yeah, to give, to give you reference, Emma, um, mm -hmm. what, in Lord of the Rings, what's the name of the forest where the uh, where the Ents are? Oh my god. Uh, mm -hmm. Fanghorn. Yeah, that's it, Fanghorn. It's like it's kind of like Fanghorn Forest. It's like just oh, this okay. dense, dense, overgrown area of just trees that people don't particularly go into very often. Um, but yeah, it is it is prime hunting grounds for what he's asking for. Okay, Miko's gonna turn that way, uh, but before he does, he like he looks at at Fleetfoot, and uh, he gives him a little wink, and he tosses him a silver coin. For favor, yes. And then he, then he goes. <laughs> he looks. He looks the other two. Do, do you, do you know this guy? Uh, no, no. <laughs> I'm but... sorry, guys. Could you say what was happening again? I just uh, had someone come in for some bad news. It's okay. Is everything okay, DJ? Do you wanna? Yeah, it's one of the rabbits. Okay. Um. So we're in the fake woods. Yo, you haven't gone yet. Just oh. Miko was just like chatting with the the halfling. You haven't really missed a lot. Um, but he's asked, yeah, he's asked you to go into the uh, the Fey Woods and help. And Miko has started to wander in that direction. Miko, Miko, no wait! Zeta runs Come after on, you. Little human. I mean, fellow I'm human. Jogging after them. Okay. You guys head away from the town, and the forest is pretty much encroaches on the town, like literally, like. 30, 20, 30 feet past the boundary of the town. Um, there is there is the fight there is the Fey Woods. Um, the sound of music uh, disappears behind you and you enter the Fey Woods. So let's bring you over to that page. Just as a backdrop. Ooh. Ooh. Beautiful. About this point it's um, it's still like midday, and the midday sun is shining. Um, very brightly. There's not a cloud in the sky. It was a glorious day. You head into the Fey Woods, and there are beams of sunlight coming from the sky. There is the sound of nature all around you as the town disappears to your back. So how this is going to work, guys, talking to the players, mm. um, you are all going to make um, checks to try and find some sort of game. Oh, okay. So each of you is going to make one check. Um, you can choose from the following skills. Um, survival, nature, or perception. To try and find game. Okay? So okay. choose one of those skills, each. And, like, two of you can roll one thing, it doesn't matter. But each of you choose one of those skills. So, nature, survival, or perception. And make some rolls. 
Okay, I'm gonna the go average of your perception. the average of your rolls um, will determine what happens next, basically. Okay. Oh, what lovely woods! Ah. <laughs> Mikkel is struck by the beauty of this place. Um, Hugo and Zeta, you're more focused on the task at hand. Um, Zeta especially, since you might know what might be coming here. You've read about this place in history yeah. before. Yeah, she's kind of looking around, like, really nervously, and she's keeping an eye out for her animals, but she's she's never hunted before, so she's kind of... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It takes you a bit of time, um, probably about an hour or so. Um, but you do seem to find tracks of some sort of creature um, from the look of the indents in the um, in the thick mud. Um, potentially some sort of cloven-hoofed animal, heavy. Um, not a deer, maybe a maybe a pig or a boar or something similar. You start to track the creature. Um, and about 20 minutes later, you'd find it. Um, it is indeed a wild boar. Um, it's currently eating something in the undergrowth um, across a clearing to you guys, maybe 20 feet away. Uh, um, Hugo? Yes? There. There it is. Oh, you're right. <laughs> uh, I'm going to take my crossbow. Light crossbow. Okay. You have a light crossbow? Nice. Can I make an attack? Yes, you can fire, You can shoot today if you want. Uh, make right. an attack roll. Bam! Oh. That hits. That hits. Roll damage. Roll in damage. Um, okay, so 11 piercing damage. That is exactly what you needed. Boar has 11 hit points. <laughs> oh, yeah. um, so you line up, um, take aim, and study your breathing, and... straight into the eye socket of the boar and it just, without even making a squeal, just boom, falls down its side dead. Oh. Um, <laughs> it is it is a pretty sizable creature. Um, not, not not too big for you to be unable to carry it, but um, it's definitely a good a good catch. Nice. Well, that's that. Let's hope that's enough. Or should we get more? Hmm. Is it dead? It's it's pretty dead. Are we sure? I mean, you can approach it and find out. Yes, uh, Miko would would like to approach it and okay. poke it. Okay, give me a give me a medicine check ah, or a nature check. Let's. Hmm. You're not too sure. It does seem to be twitching a bit. Are you uh... sure, human Hugo? Give it a moment. Is it Hugon? Um. We go. No. No, it's not gone. The boy. The boy is very dead. <laughs> the boy. The boy is obviously very dead. I would take your uh, word, but Miko so is not convinced. There's you blood like pouring out of the, the eye socket where it was. Not too much, not to ruin the meat, but it is it has gone limp, it is sitting there in the grass. And um, you can you can grab it you can grab it without any issue particularly. Um especially you, um, Hugo. Like you're strong enough to be able to just carry this thing um, yeah. without too much issue. Alright, well that's that. We've got our food. What next? More or should we just go back? We have to win the competition, Hugo. Is it, More Miko, than? there's no competition! I paid for favor. Well, if you paid for it, <clears throat> might as well get more. Okay. If you guys wish to keep looking for <laughs> more, more boar, or more something, um, you can, again, roll um, survival nature or perception checks to try and track down more game. Alright. Oh. At this time, you're having a bit more trouble. Um, you wander around the forest for dragging this boar for probably about another, I don't know, hour, hour and a half, um, trying to find any sort of trace of any other creature. Eventually, you stumble across um, multiple tracks, um, something else in the forest. 
um, you decide to follow, or you can decide to follow if you wish. Are you guys sure this is a good idea? <gasps> this Why not? Lead to the game. Because there's things in this wood that aren't really safe. What's not safe, little human? A lot of things. Hmm. It's just another forest. What do you mean? This reminds Mikkel of something that he would like to ask uh, fellow humans. He, uh, he has heard of, of things people can do to make them feel better. Mikkel took quite a swing earlier. Was quite hoping <laughs> uh, maybe for assistance. It just struck Mikkel all of a sudden. Well, I'm afraid I don't have any healing. Little, little uh, lady human? Uh, I do, but... We could take a short rest if you'd like. <clears throat> no, Miko would be fine. <laughs> Alright then. So we haven't found anything, have we? No, no more you can pursue these. You can continue to pursue these tracks if you wish. Yeah. Um, you pursue them for about... 20 minutes, half an hour or so, so you've been in this forest for a good, like, three hours at this point. Um, more than half of that you've been dragging around this dead boar. Um, you come across another sort of thicketed area. Uh, not as... It's like, slightly larger, slightly more open. Um, the tree line breaks, and you can actually see the sky for quite clearly. Um, and in this clearing there is a large um, herd of deer. Probably, I don't know, 12 strong or so. Oh. Just all seem to be grazing at them, grazing in the ground. There we are. See, I... Hugo human. What did Miko say? Well, I guess you're right, Miko. Mm, Do you have anything to, be... to? Do you have anything to kill these with? That oh. isn't, you know, incredible amounts of lightning. Miko can do that. Uh... Can Miko do that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Miko just has to read his thoughts. Translate as Emma still talking about. <laughs> <laughs> what, what spells? What spells do you have? Uh, um, why? Well, I'm just trying to figure out which one. Okay. I think he's gonna do. The the spells for, um, the spells that your cantrips you can use without um expending spell slots. You just oh my use God, them. I you can use them as many times as you those. want. Um, so cantrips are the free resource for spellcasters. <laughs> oh no! Wait, does the um does the second one on his list count towards animals? Um, let me have a look. <laughs> um, no. Oh, um, okay, that's fair. <laughs> no, hold up. What's the what's the um thing on that um. No, it's a it says creature, so yes, that <laughs> would work. Um, that that definitely would work. Oh God, no, he's just gonna do the third one. He's okay. just he's just gonna spit some acid. Okay, uh, make your go back to your go back to your bio page then, and make your attack roll with the. Uh... I just click on it, right? Yep. Okay. Oh, it's a deck save um, for the. Ah! Well, Gino, which I don't actually have a oh God, Miko. <laughs> it's but, uh, okay, me, human Hugo. Let me find the let me find the stats here um, for these. Oh wow, they have a plus three to their decks. Jesus. Um, Dira, Dira, fast guys. <laughs> oh shit. Um, one, two, three. Uh, so it's everything within five feet. So yeah, you you watch as Miko just produces this blob of acid um, <laughs> and just, <laughs> just regurgitates this. Gout um, that flies towards these uh, unsuspecting deer. Um, so three of them are going to make deck saves. Nope, nope, and nope. <laughs> uh, three, four, and a five. So you watch as um, a number of them just get hit, and all three of them, because you did five damage, deers only have four hit points, um, <laughs> just start to just get hit by this blast of acid, and they start screaming in pain as the other deer just like. I got flock, them! Just like flock in various directions and run. Um, these other three deer just like collapse to the floor, all dead, all of them with just horrible scarring 
of acid burns as it's just eating into some of their flesh um, as they collapse to the floor dead. So you have three <laughs> dead deer now. Miko won the competition. <laughs> Miko, I'm not entirely sure you've won. Hugo has one. Miko has three. <laughs> Hugo, you Hugo, Hugo acid is these. bad. No, that it's red. It is good. Look, smell it. Mmm, delicious. Oh, it smells Hugo? horrific. God. Ah, lovely. Hugo. We take this back to Fleetwood. He'd be so happy. Oh no. I don't think so. No, we take it back. <laughs> I tug, I tug on Hugo's arm. Hugo, I want to go back. <laughs> oh no, Miko, I don't think these are edible anymore. Nor is this very humane. No, it's they good. would be, they would be edible. Um, you're not going to get an entire carcass out of it, but they would be, you'd still be able to save a lot of the meat. Um, <laughs> See, okay. voice in Miko's head says it's shots. good. Nowhere near as clean, um, no. but you'd still get a decent amount of food out of them. Miko uh, would guess. like to try to drag two deers at once. How does Miko try to do this? I'll take How strong? One, What's your strength? <laughs> He's not strong. Thirteen. Right. Okay. <laughs> Miko would like to attempt this. <laughs> okay. Fifteen. How much weight have you got right now? Uh, it's only like twenty-two. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me do some maths here. So what's 15 times 13? Oh god. Where's my calculator? Mm. That's 195. Damn it, he beat my calculator. <laughs> Can't believe I'm googling average deal. <laughs> <laughs> um, watch, watch Hugo! Miko will take them back all by himself! Are you <laughs> proud of Miko? Miko's proud of Miko. I'm very proud of you, Miko. Maybe a little human girl could take one. I don't know, instead okay. of just standing um, there. No! It's not, it's not gonna be easy. Um, <laughs> but if you bound them together in some way, shape, or form, you should be able to actually drag all three of them. Oh, he's got rope! Um, yeah, so you could... that Because these are these are roe deer. These are, like, small-ish deer. Um, they don't actually weigh that much. Um, each of them weighs probably about... What did I just Google? 300 pounds, I don't uh, think probably so. About th probably about 30 to 35 pounds each. Um, you can carry up to about 195 pounds, because uh, every human humanoids and medium size can carry 15 times their strength modifier. Okay. Sorry, 15 times their strength, so 13 times 15 for you. Oh yeah, um, he's just gonna try to drag these things. Yeah, so you'd have to you'd have to bind them together somehow, but you shouldn't be you should be able to get these things out of the forest without any issue. All right, um, he's got from the rope. Yeah, yeah. So you, how much have you got? You got about 60 feet of it. 50 feet. 50 feet, yeah. No, it takes it takes you a bit of time, but you can bind these things together um, securely in such a way that you sort of like sling them over your shoulders. You're like holding them at the front, and they're like on your back. Um, but you can you can walk, albeit slowly, but you can walk with this. See, Miko, can do it. <laughs> you are watching as the muscles are straining from the weight, but Miko seems to be all right doing it. Okay, I'll help out a bit. About this time, the sun is starting to, um... The light is starting to get dimmer in the area. Um, you figure you probably have enough... Uh, enough meat for, uh, what you're asking for. You've got three deer, or how much can be salvaged, and definitely <laughs> entire boar. Um, which, the boar alone might have been enough anyway. Mm. Do you wish to I continue wish. hunting, or do you wish to head back to town? Oh, you, Miggles. I want to go back. I think it's time to head back. I must take this back to Fleetfoot for the favor. Uh -huh. What's the favor for? For winning food competition. So you you paid to win? Miko won. Miko definitely won. But now uh... Miko is not so sure. <laughs> Right, let's go back to Fleetfoot. Okay, as you guys um, start walking um, out of the forest, I need all of you to give me survival checks, please. Okay. As they're walking, Miko's gonna look at uh, Hugo, and he's just he's just talking. He's like, he's like, yeah, you're Fleetfoot. Uh, he's actually my best friend. Oh really? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How'd you meet? 
uh, just about a uh, little bit ago. Maybe, maybe when we just got to festival. Best friend. Oh. Best friend. Uh huh. Okay, that was quick. Yeah, yeah, that's how it works. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm your best friend too. Um, yeah, I guess. <laughs> This is good. Yeah, Miko, so Miko is friends. um Miko's not paying enough attention to be able to navigate at this point. Um, <laughs> Hugo, you're trying to keep focus, and Zeta, you just want to get out of this place. Um, you feel something strange as you exit the uh, as you're moving through the forest. Um, the paths out of the corner of your eyes seem to be closing. Roots seem to be moving. Things seem to be happening. No, that are not no, natural no, no, way, no, 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 no. But with your determination, you managed to navigate yourself out of the forest. You've been in here probably about th four or five hours at this point. It takes you no more than about 20 minutes to be able to actually find the edge of the forest and get out, and you are right there. You're right at town. Ah. And you start to get a bit like, you look back and you're like, what the hell? I thought we were way deeper than that. That seemed very strange. Um, yeah, you uh, you head back You head back to the square and, um, and the halfling. Uh, greets you. Oh, thank, thank you, friends. Um, just, um, just, just put them up. Just give them, give them here. Give them here. Uh, put them, put them down. We'll just, we'll get to it. And oh God, what did you do to them? <laughs> never mind. Never mind. Uh, we'll, we'll work with that. It's fine. See, it's fine. Hugo, um, he called me a friend. What uh, did I say? <laughs> yes. No. Thank you, Miko. Uh, very, very useful. And thank you. Um, thank you to the rest of you. Uh, we. Um, as 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 a token of the appreciation, um, the mayor has said that you can sit at the high table uh, at today's feast um, because honestly, this this has saved us. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, just put it down over there, and he gestures over to sort of like the uh, massive sort of table area um, where you'd seen before like some of the cooked meats being carved, but he's now using it for um, actual butchery. Mm. Um, He's, you look to the fire back in the um, the center of the town, and there's there's a few things cooking on there, like small birds and nothing major like what you've brought. Right, let's go drop ah. off this food. He takes he takes the food off your hands. He takes the deers and the boar, and um, he starts cooking them. He says, "Right, okay, um, yeah, no, the um, go to go to the town hall um, in maybe an hour and a half, um, and we'll, the feast the feast will be ready for all of you. Um, thank you for your uh, thank you for your help." No worries, friend. No, thank you for your help, Fleetfoot. <laughs> right. And he <laughs> sort of goes off and uh, goes... Uh, ah. Goes goes back to the... Um, goes, to, goes to the cooking and the preparation of meat. What a good okay. friend. <laughs> it's a nice okay. evening in town. Um, people are starting to um, close down the stalls. Um, the activities seem to have ended for the day. The only people who seem to be animated in this area are um, Fleetfoot and his um, and his cooks, essentially. Goodness. Um, How do you well, guys choose to spend your time? Um, a few hours later comes the feast. Oh, Miko wants to help cook. <laughs> you ask. Miko, and, no! Um, you what ask and uh, Roderick, Roderick tells you that no, it, it's fine. Like you don't, I don't need any help. I need you to stay out of this area. If you want to help me, stay, stay away because we need to. We know what we're doing. Thank oh, you. Though. To we, help us to stay away. Part. Yes, Miko understands this. He's been told many, many times this. Actually, Miko <laughs> will go over here. We go over there. <laughs> Miko's just kind of standing in the corner. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> So it's half it, just like take, it just like takes like three steps back from the uh, <laughs> <laughs> from the half lane and just like sort of stands there. See, Miko is it's over here, helping. <laughs> Roderick's just <laughs> ignoring you at this point. Okay, well I guess we're here. How long did we have to wait? Like half an hour or longer? Um, it's he said about an hour, hour and a half. Um, and you can spend the time as you wish throughout town. Um, I haven't got anything prepared for this, by the way. Just. Mm. Oh, yeah, this is going to be a very fucking short session. This is maybe not even going to hit the two-hour mark. It's fucking great. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, never mind. At... An hour twenty-ish. Yeah, <laughs> hour fifteen, hour ten. Miko is uh, he's going to stand there, just watching the cooks, and every now and then he's he's going to wave, you know, and 
<laughs> no. Yeah, I'm still happy. They're just, they're just, they're just ignoring you. And just <laughs> trying to, trying to get on with their day. Um, yeah, that ogre fight should have taken a bit longer than that. <laughs> <laughs> blasted the damn thing completely and utterly and killed it completely and utterly. <laughs> During this time, you guys do get a short rest in. Oh, good. Okay. And, um, we'll say. So, you guys, anything which comes back on a short rest, you regain. Um, you regain hit points equal to any hit dice you wish to spend at this point. So, uh, if you want to get health back, Emma. Yeah, can I roll all of them? Uh, you roll them one at a time. Okay. But you can roll all three of them if you want. So, if you click where it says hit dice. Yeah. Where it goes red. If you click that, and it will roll it, and it will add you a con modifier, and it will tell you. So, you gain seven hit points from the first one. Um, you can roll again if you want. Eight, seven, that's 14. You've regained. Shut up, anime. Uh, so you regain 19 hit points, which is more than enough. Oh, good. To get you back to full. Uh, you've used all your hit dice, but... Let's be honest, it's a one-shot, it's not gonna matter. <laughs> <clears throat> People are starting to gather at the town hall. Um, and you guys arrive an hour or so later. Um... So let's change the music track. Begin the feast. Oh. Oh, damn. Mikor wants to dance already! <laughs> and there are people dancing. Um, there he are goes and joins! People dancing in a merry jig off to the side. Um, the town hall is open. Um, there is a... Uh, massive tables set all down either side. Um, people are gathered in the center, um, just at the moment dancing along to the band. Um, there is a... There are large statues to the back end of the room and various tables and what looks... This place looks like it might be used as religious... Uh, cer uh, for religious ceremonies when it's not being used for, you know, current, cer current celebrations, but there are banners and streamers and um, the entire place has been decorated grand, uh, in various grandeur um, for today's festivities. Are there drinks to get anywhere? Do there are drinks to... everywhere. Um, the tables are the tables are covered in various wines and alcohol. Um, a portly man um, greets you as you enter. Oh, um, hi, Miko. Miko, yes. No, ah! we have been. I've been uh, told you are coming. Thank you. You must be the ones who um who found us the uh, the meats for tonight's celebration. Thank you for that. Um, my name is Igrano Volivosk. Um, Volleyball. Yes, Volivosk. Um. I am, uh, I am the mayor of the town, um, and I will thank you from the bottom of my heart and ask you to join me in the, um, in the feast tonight. Is that, would that be suitable for all of you? Of course. Miko loves this Of course, this I like this man. Get this man a, what do you want, my good sir? A beer, wine, something stronger? Let's go for a wine for now. A wine, bring us a wine. And, um, he's sort of just saying this to the, just to the air, basically, but somebody does come a few seconds. Um, nice. and just presents you with, you know, uh, either a red or a white of your choosing. Mm. Um, Go over a nice red. The outmere, and they, they give it to you heartily. Nice. Big, big glass. Nobody is skimping on the alcohol here tonight. No, no. Oh, nice. That's not how it works. It's a celebration. <laughs> people are drinking and dancing, and um, they're nibbling on canapes as they sort of float around. There are people with, like, trays of stuff. Uh, oh, Miko wants to dance. And you do, uh, vigorously. Uh, make a Fling. performance check, just for shits and giggles. Oh, which one? Performance, please. Oh. Just for shits and giggles. Flailing his oh, arms. 20. <laughs> and it is, to Miko, it looks like flame. To <laughs> everybody else, this looks like the most splendid Kaylee dance in the world. <laughs> and people are starting to copy your moves. Ah, and yes. joining in spectacularly. It's like having seen one person having backup dancers. And Let Michael us move our person. limbs! <laughs> Amazing. Fantastic. The celebration continues um, through the night and you sit down eventually and um, the roasted the roasted boar and the bits of roasted, um, roasted deer, roasted venison are brought in and it smells gorgeous. Even in the small amount of time he's been given, um, Roderick Fleetfoot has managed to put on a spectacular, spectacular feast for all of you. Cool. The um, the celebration continues for a number of hours. Um, you feast, you are given food, you are given wine, you are given 
um, you know, water, you're given whatever you wish to have uh, in terms of consumption at this festival. And there's, as I said, there's salted, there's salted meats, there's cooked meats, there's boiled meats, there is various vegetables, there's salads, there's pastries, there's everything that your heart desires here. It is a true celebration. Is the uh, is the guy who won the pie eating contest there? Uh, yeah, the um, the half orc. He is uh, most certainly there. You see him sort of down the way a bit. Can uh, um, can Miko grab some food and go over to him? Yeah, yeah, go for it. Um, then... So you grab you grab a plate full of um, because you guys are at the high table. You've been given the boar essentially. Oh. Um, so you take like a good chunk of the boar and you go and sit down uh, sit down near him, and he sees you and. Ah, my friend! Ah! You are here! It's me, Mikol! Mikol! Ah! Drink! And then... Pleasure. When Pleasure, the, Mikol. When the guy had won, how he did that, like, roar thing, Mikol's gonna yeah. take a fistful of food, jam it, like, in his own mouth, and then just go... Ah! <laughs> Spatter, like, <laughs> roar across, and the guy looks at you like... Well, you're an enthusiastic one, and I appreciate it. <laughs> Come um, sit. We will drink and eat. Oh, make her will sit. And he, the the half orc has just this massive plate of food as well, and he's joking with the dwarf. You also saw at the um, contest, and the dwarf's like, "I will beat it. I'll be gonna beat you next time. You'll never beat him again, laddie." Oh, you fucking yeah, no, yeah, be fine. I won this time, and it's my day. And even this one beat you. And he gestures over to Miku. Even this one, the human beat you. Yes, human. Getting sloppy, dwarf. He um, is a fine little thing. <laughs> oh God. He's like gesturing towards the dwarf. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Good. Yes. About uh, about this time, Zeta and um, Hugo, what are you guys doing uh, during the feast? Are you just like kind of sitting there and eating and chatting? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. This is, Zeta, for you, this is like par for the course. It's quite nice, actually. It's a bit more rustic than what you're used to, but big feast like this, this is nothing new. At about this time, um, you start feeling sort of a rumbling in the floor. Um, can I have everyone's passive perception, please, actually? How um, do you do passive? So go all the way down above it your... Says, it says to blow your... Stuff. um. Yeah. On the left side. Oh, yes. Okay. So, Zeta, what's your past perception? 12. Wow, that's normally I'm used to in the 20s from you. Um, Nicole, <laughs> what's your past perception? It's also 12. Okay, and uh, Hugo? Minus 14. Oh, high perception with Hugo. Um, <laughs> Hugo, you start to feel it first, and you watch actually... Well, you don't feel it first, actually. You watch some of, like, the goblets and, you know, things, of, things full of water and wine and stuff like that start to shake. And there's like ripples in the water, and you're like, what the hell is that? Um, then you all start feeling a rumbling in the floor. Um, a few moments later, there's a cracking, grating, slamming noise coming from the middle of the room. Oh. The band stops playing, and everyone starts looking towards the center of the room. Oh no. Is this a normal party trick? This is not normal, lad. Um, as he says, as the half orc says that, this massive creature, um, bug, um, big carapace, massive pincers on its, uh, massive pincers on its face, just emerges from the floor, just breaking through the stone. And many small bugs with it, and these little, little individuals, just five of them, um, small baby, three inches in height, dragonfly wings, bows in their hands. Um, fly into the center of the room. One of them shouts, addressing the room. I, King Rosenthal, see you humans as guilty. You have been trespassing in our woods, and you have devoured our friends. For this, you will be punished. So let's bring you over to this battle map. I am Miko. <laughs> nice to meet you. Oh, shit. Oh, I know that creature. So, yeah, Miko's sort of over to the side talking to the half-orc. Um, the Zeta and Hugo, you're up at the top table. Uh, and you get a damn good view of this thing. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll just enlarge the token a bit more to give you a better view. 
Jeez. <laughs> He's beautiful. A yeah. It's a large... <laughs> <laughs> There's a large insectoid creature with four eyes, and it's just got these clicking mandibles. Um, There's some sort of corrosive substance dripping from its mouth. Um, after the sprites um, address the room, um, they get their bows ready and draw for arrows. I would like everyone, please, to roll initiative. All right. Wait, I can't remember how no. I did it. There it is. Yes. Click on your click on your token and click roll initiative. Oh, I forgot to click on my token. It's okay, I'll add it now. Um, okay. Just give me one moment to roll initiative for all these things. It like yelled at me. <laughs> uh, there's, there's a swarm of insects. Um, I'm going to group initiative the sprites. Uh, they're all going to act as one. Uh, just for the sake of simplicity. And the end cake. Um, what did you roll? An 11. Okay. Yeah. So add turn 11. They're all quite high initiative, though. So, Hugo. Huh. These things have entered the chamber and threatened the entire room. What are you doing? Alright. First, as my bonus action, I'm going to cast Shield of Faith. Okay. So you stand, you stand and put your hand to your chest, grabbing your shield as you rise, and you wa uh, Zeta, you watch as this flowing just crisscross of energy just starts descending over Hugo's form. So that's your bonus action. Alright, nice. Then I'm going to leap over the table over to here. Mm hmm. Uh, and I want to take a swing at this little thing. Yeah, these guys are fl flying, by the way, but they're not flying too high off the ground right now. Okay. Um, I'm not going to put the flying tokens on them because I'll show you what that <laughs> fucking does. Um, <laughs> You can't see the bloody token. <laughs> so, no. <laughs> uh, the, all these guys are flying perpetually, though. Okay, so make your make your attack roll, please. All right. Twelve. But that misses. It darts just out of the way. These things are very small. I said about three inches in size. Um, these tiny little humanoids. Shit. Uh, so it just dart. It just dodges out of the way. Uh, that is your. Well, unless you wish to retreat, that is your movement and your action, your bonus action. Yeah, uh, that's everything. Okay. Uh, the sprites will have their turn. Um, the sprite next to you... Well, the sprites will actually all fire their short bows at uh, the offending human who has dared to attack them. Okay. Uh, so a few of them are going to move up. Uh, this one's going to move this way. So five short bow attacks against you. All right. Uh, 25. Why has that got a... That shouldn't have that poison on it. <laughs> Ignore yeah. that poison stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, uh, so 25, 14, 17, 15, and 25. So two of those hit, yeah. I believe. Yep. Um, so you take... <laughs> Ignore the plus one, plus one. They do 1d1 damage, so you take two points of piercing damage as these little pinpricks just <laughs> into um, you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this might go on for a while. Okay, so that is the sprite. That's the sprite's turn. It is the swarm of bugs turn. Um, the Swarm of Bugs is going to move into your space, Hugo, um, and make its attack. I'll just... It's in your space right now. It has a range of zero. Gotcha. Um, and they're going to bite at you. Uh, an 18. Does that hit your armor class? No. So this Swarm of Bugs just starts nipping, nipping at your feet, and you're like, what the fuck? Just this congealed mass of just insects, um, but it does huh. no damage to you. Uh, that's the end of the Swarm's turn. Zeta, you're up. Safer. Yeah, I know. I'm thinking. Okay. Ooh, that was weird. What happened? What happened to the lions? Alright. Um, she's gonna go ahead and cast Ice Knife at the big guy. Okay. Um, so you're casting Ice Knife at the Ankeg. Um, I believe the explosion is everyone within five feet for Ice yep. Knife, is it? Okay. That doesn't hit anyway, though. It doesn't, but it still does the explosion, I think, so it's a yep. hit all the miss. So you throw your Ice Knife and it just bounces off the um, 
Wow, one piercing damage doesn't really matter too much. <laughs> it bounces off the hide of the Ankeg. Um, it still explodes into the air, though. So the Ankeg makes its, uh, make a save. The Ankeg wow. makes the save. Um, and the two sprites, which are nearby. Uh, that one fails. And that one fails. So the two sprites, um, which are next to the Ankeg, just immediately um, shriek as they are frozen in midair and just fall to the ground and shatter. Uh, the Ankeg right. takes half the... No, the Ankeg takes no damage, so the Ankeg's mm -hmm. just standing there, just... <laughs> um, that is your action? Do you wish to move or bonus action? Nope. Okay. Uh, Mikkel, what All are you right. doing? Can Mikkel jump on the table? Yeah, you can do. So he jumps on the table, and he looks at Zeta, and he's like, That was such a good idea, little human! And then Mikkel, he's, get him! And then he's also gonna cast... I ice knife at uh, the giant okay. big thing. Okay. Aim for so like you, right here. You throw the ice knife. Um, make your click on it in the. Um... Uh, can I do level two? Uh, you can cast it as level two. This is your last level two spell slot. Okay, even after the short rest. Yeah. Okay. Does that mean I, I can still do the level one spells after? You right? can, but there's a couple of spells if you won't be able to cast. Because if Nicole aims for here, he can hit both. You won't be able to, you won't be able to cast um, your snowball swarm or levitate because those are second level spells that can only be cast as second level spells. Oh, but he can still do the. Why can't yeah. I cast mine as a second level? Um, is it a second level spell? No. Can it be upcast? No. Okay, oh. no. Ice knife cannot be upcast. Oh, that's true. It's in my level one. Yeah, um, it might be able to because it's a custom spell. I don't know whether it's been plugged in properly. Make up the um, we'll just say that, we'll just say that it's a spell that can only be cast at first level. Okay. Uh, just for the sake of this. Well, I'm pretty sure that's true. It's under his first level, so. No, but it, it comes under first level. But it's um, okay. so does anything anything which can be cast at a high level. So which bot comes in your first level as well? Anyway. Oh, that did not work. That was not what I wanted. Well, it's still. Oh yeah, no, that doesn't. Work. <laughs> oh no, it won't. Oh, it won't no. do it. Uh, go to. Oh, I know what it's done. Um, hold up. Uh, I have control of your sheet a second. Do it. Um, that is the description of Ice Knife, though. Uh, Feel free to read it <laughs> at your uh, at your leisure. Nice. What a beautiful thing. Um, we'll do it from your main page. Oh, yeah. There we go. Right, okay. So don't. that was just a test that it works, so don't worry about that. Do I click uh, on it? Go back, to your, go back to your core and click where it says Ice Knife in the middle. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, 22 hits. Uh, roll damage. How... You hit Ice Knife right Quite there. Where it says Ice Knife. Again? Oh no, on, on the, the sheet. Line. On the... No, on the... Um, on the, on chat. the chat. chat. Yeah. Huh. One here. Okay, <laughs> Not so good. It takes... No, it still hits. Um, you manage to throw the knife and it embeds inside of the Ankeg. Um, it explodes. Uh, the Ankeg needs to make a save, as does one sprite. Aha! So, the Ankeg succeeds. Why um, doesn't she have her spell save on there? I know her spell save is 14. I Because I had to copy across and it's not quite worked. Uh, um, I did this frantically a minute ago. Uh, the sprite also saved, so neither of them take the cold damage. Unfortunately, this, the end kick took one piercing. Damage, <laughs> so that's okay. Uh, that's your action. Do you should do anything for your bonus action? Uh, Miko, you know, obviously sees this happen and he jumps back down on the other side of the table and it's like, that did not go as as Miko planned. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> um, so that's the end of Miko's turn. Uh, the Ankeg um, is going to move towards the thing which threw the knife at it. Um, it has 30 feet of speed, so it needs to move around this table, this thing, so it's five to there. All right. Oh, so hello. it goes five to there. And then it sort of climbs up onto the table and bears down upon Mikkel. I'm Mikkel! Um, <laughs> okay, uh, it's going to make a bite attack against you. Uh, ten! So no, it goes to bite you and you just... You're like, oh god! <laughs> um, it's <laughs> one of its feet, like, steps in some sort of pudding or something and just, like, <gasps> flies off and it's... That was snapped edible. jaws above you. Um, that is the Ankeg's turn. Hugo, you're up. Uh, okay. There's a swarm uh, all guess... around your feet, and there is this thing in your face. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna swing at the swarm. Okay, make your attack roll against the swarm of stuff. Yeah. Longsword, 17. That hits, roll damage. 
Okay, Ooh. so you, wow, nice. You, I'm assuming you're using this one-handed? Yeah, one-handed. Yeah, you roll max damage on both, Jesus. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you swing through the swarm, um, and though you know that would be a solid swing and a solid hit on something which had a single form, this is just like a swarm of bugs and it doesn't seem to take all the damage. Um, mm. But you still get a solid hit in. Uh, so math, don't fail me now, there we go. Mm. Uh, anything else you wish to do? Uh, no, that's me. Okay. Um, the sprites um, are gonna yell out, "Get the, get the human, get the human!" And they're gonna point. They're pointing towards Zeta. Um, after you just annihilated three of them, sorry, two of them even. Um, they move up um, and fire their short bows at you. Uh, so there's a 15, a 15, and a 25. Uh, so Zeta, you take three points of piercing damage as these little uh, pale... shield. Okay. So what's your armor class now? It would be 16. Okay, so only one of them hits. You take one point of piercing damage. Um, as this, you put up your arcane barrier and then one of these little cocktail stick sort of things just like gets you in the shoulder. You're like, ow, fuck, ow, ow, ow. Uh, that is the sprite's turn. The swarm is going to continue to start to bite to your legs. Oh. As an eight. No, it can't get through the armor. Zeta. You are up. Oh, they spread out. Bunch of assholes. <laughs> uh, sixty. She's gonna cast Ray of Frost on this one right here. Okay. Uh, make your make your attack roll. Eight. No, unfortunately, you go to blast the it with cold energy fucking again. Fucking um, And it moves out of the way. These things are very, very nimble. Um, these sprites. Uh, bonus action or movement? Uh, nope. Okay. Uh, Beagle. There was a thing in your face. Beagle, uh, <laughs> looks at this, and then he's gonna... He can move, right? You can move. If you move away from this thing without taking the disengage action, it's going to try and swipe at you. Oh, yeah, that's right. Using that's its right. reaction. All right, um, the Miggle is just going to... Ranged, ranged attacks while it's up in your face as well are a disadvantage because it's, like, right up against you. Okay. Um, so a lot of your spells to hit would be a disadvantage. Oh, I can't get this to open. Oh, wait, there we go. Hold on. It's okay. It's been a while since you played, so. Could he use the first one, but make it behind the thing, so there's no disadvantage? Um, what's your first spell? You're gonna have to just tell me. The what are you trying to do? The chill touch, or the acid splash. No, because you need a target specifically. Uh, okay. Um. So no, it's it's a disadvantage either way. It's then... also it's not because it's a disadvantage against it, because the thing is in your face. If you were to try and make a range attack against anything, oh okay okay. Uh oh no, that would be terrible. That would ruin everyone's day. I don't want to do that. Um mm. oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Wait, how tall is this thing? Um, I mean, it's a large creature. It's probably about... It's more wide than tall. Um, probably about five, five and a half feet tall. Is it really? Yeah. Can, can Miko cast Levitate on himself? Um, on yourself? Yeah, you can. <laughs> he will do that. Okay, so you cast, you cast Levitate. So he can be um, 20 feet in the air. If you move out of its reach, it will swipe at you. Will it? Yeah, if you if you move if you move out of its reach, it swipes at you. It has a five foot reach, so that means if you walk back to me, if you fly up above it, it will try. And oh hit well, you. then he'll put levitate on it. Oh okay, in that case. Yeah, go away. <laughs> okay, in that case, um, what saving throw is that for levitate? Uh, I think it. What did it say? 
constitution. An uh, unwilling. Just click, it, just click it in your. Just click it on the sheet and it'll pop oh, yeah. up the, the thing. Um, yeah, it's definitely under five hundred pounds. Um, and one, yeah, no, it's definitely unwilling. Um, <laughs> so you reach out and just like boop, this thing on the face uh, makes Constitution saving throw. Uh, that's a failure. Um, how how high are you ascending? Twenty this feet. Thing? Okay, so you what? You guys want? Oh, get up, go <laughs> away! Just like it just lifts off the table and it just starts thrashing around in midair. Oh, um and it is now just floating twenty feet in in space. Um we got I'm gonna put a flying like market on it just for shits and gills, but it's not the target only be my pushing pulling against fist objects so it's reach. Yeah, it can't reach anything, so it's just sitting there just <laughs> thrashing around. Um twenty feet up. Okay. Uh, that is that is your turn. Uh, the Ankeg. The Ankeg is going to look at you. Um, <laughs> it's going to reel back and spit acid at you. That's my trick. Um, make a make a dexterity saving throw, please. Okay, I gotta go back to my core. And I click dexterity, like I did the pie thing, right? Yeah, yeah. From the saving throw. Oh, not good. That's a that's oh. a failure. Um, so you take. Uh, Eight acid damage. Ow! Um, as this thing spits in your face. Um, I need you to make a constitution saving throw to see if you maintain concentration on levitate. Uh, Dom. Yes. Just uh, for you, Thornbat in the chat says your voice sounds amazing and a what? really good voice, especially for this. Thank you. I have no <laughs> idea who that is, but thank you. I appreciate that. You said constitution, right? Constitution, yeah, it's to maintain concentration. Come on, Miko, you love acid. Uh, the DC, the DC is ten. Yeah, you maintain <laughs> concentration on this. Stop that! Um, Stop that right now! Yeah, so you take you take the eight Stop. acid damage, but you're you're still like focusing on this thing and it's still flying in the air. I think um, that was you... supposed to hurt. <laughs> Ow, sizzles. You are watching us. <laughs> Miko's flesh is just dissolving away, and he's just kind of like, oh. um... God damn. So that is the end of um, that is the end of the Ankeg's turn. Uh, Hugo, you're up. Back to the top of the round. Uh, all right. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just gonna keep swinging at these bugs. Okay, okay. Make your attack roll against the <laughs> swarm of insects. Oh shit. No, they just sort of part down the middle as you swing up through them. Um, they are wily bastards. God damn. The sprites are gonna continue their assault on um. Uh. <laughs> On the little girl, who they see as the big threat because they keep <laughs> keeps killing them. <laughs> um, Jesus Christ! Okay, twenty-one. So you take you take one more piece of damage <laughs> from the cocktail stick arrows they're flying at you. God, sprites are fucking terrible. Um, <laughs> hilarious though. Um, Swarm of bugs time. Um, Swarm of bugs is going to try and bite. Uh, that's a twelve. I bet that doesn't hit your armor class, does it? So, no. Zeta, you're up. Ray of Frost again. I'm the same hey. one. Okay, Ray of Frost, roll your attack. Ah. Uh, ten. No, that doesn't hit. Um, it dodges again out of your way. Um, not gonna do anything else. Okay, Mikul. It is back to your turn. The Ankeg is thrashing around in the air above you. Okay, so... It says... You can use your action to move the target. And I'm going to keep them away from stuff it can touch, because it says it, it can, like, push off things. It's already, like, in... It's already 20 feet up. It already can't grab anything. Yeah. Right now. So I just... Um, I want to move it... It says... Yeah, so I'm going to move it around, like, there. You can move the... You can move the target's altitude up 20 feet in either direction. You can't move it left or right. It says... It's just... Vert it's vertically up and down. Are you sure? Oh, yeah, altitude. The target can move only by pushing and pulling, which Drats. allows you can change the target's altitude by up to 20 feet in either direction on your turn. Well, Miko's just going to keep holding this thing. Um, you, you just, you're just holding it. You have an action to do. Oh, you can do um, you... spells on top of that? Yeah. It's not, a, it's not something you have to focus on every turn. Like, you oh, do it. I thought he was concentrating. Oh, okay. You are. That's a different thing. Um, oh, that changes. You're concentrating everything. on the spells, keep it, but you still have enough action to be able to do other things. You can't cast another concentration spell. Otherwise, you'll lose concentration on yeah. the first spell. 
but you can concentrate on one spell and do other things as well. Oh my god, he's gonna spit acid back in its face. Okay, you make your make your attack roll then. Uh, you're not at disadvantage anymore, so make your attack roll. Uh, oh yeah, it's a dex save. Uh, is there anything about dex saves this thing? There's no, no it doesn't. Restrained. No, it's not. It's um. Wait, hold up. Let me let me read through the spell again because that might make a difference. Hmm. No, it's not restrained or anything. It's not under any conditions. It's just it's just floating there. Uh, so <laughs> its dex saves are normal. Um, it fails though. Um, so it takes the. This is how you do it. It takes the four acid damage. Um, so I do a barely, one... the, the ant cake is barely hurt, honestly. It's just kind of thrashing there in midair. Do I do the 1d6 of acid damage for it? Uh, you oh, did, that you, was the, the four. four. That's the four there, yeah. Okay, it pre-did it for um, me. Yeah, it ro for, for a saving throw, things it rolls it automatically there. Hey, that's a good question from um, Thorn in the chat. It says that the levitate can go up to 20 feet, but can he move him 20 feet higher? Yeah, you can move him 20 feet higher. Ooh, can he do that? So he's yeah, 40 yeah. feet okay. in the so air? Okay, so he's now 40 foot in the air, sure. Okay, yeah, I want that. It Thanks, Thorn. It, <laughs> it has a range of 60 feet, so you can move him up to its range, up to oh. the range of the spell. So as Perf long as you're below this thing... Um, wait, hold on. Uh, no, it has a range of 60 feet. Creature object you choose is rising by 20 feet. Spend it for the third duration. The spell levitates the target 500 pounds. The target can move under a pushing volume, which allows... Da -da -da -da. You choose the target for 20 feet in either direction on your turn. If the target, you move up and down as part of your right. Oh, okay, no, so to move it up and down is an action. So okay, to so. Change its altitude is an action. We'll stick with the acid for now. Okay, yeah. But you can just continue to move it up as an action on your yeah, turn. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, it's its turn. Hello! Uh, why can I never get you? Let me go back to the bottom of the. Because <laughs> the name's too long. Miko goes forever. Um, it's going to roll a d6 to see whether it gets its acid breath back. It does not. Um, ah. I can't do anything on this turn, so that's the end of its turn. Uh, Hugo, you're up. Alright, um, I'm gonna swing at the little sprite next to me. Okay, make a, make an attack roll. Come on, 21. That hits. Um, it has two hit points, so it's dead. There we go. <laughs> so you cut, you cut down the, uh, what was his name? King Rosenthal is down. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> you kill the king. Okay. Long live there the new go. king. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, they only have two hit points. They're really hard to hit, but they don't have a lot of hit points. Um, the sprites are going to be pissed at you now, so they're going to fire their stupid little arrows at you. <laughs> Do it. 25 and an 8. You take one piercing damage. <laughs> okay. Against their new king! The bugs are going to bite. The bugs. They they're fail. <laughs> Zeta, you're up. <laughs> you're just having an annoying time over there, Hugo. Yeah! <laughs> Basically. It's like, the one straight down below me. Okay, Ray of Frost again? Yeah. Okay. Keep on trying. Um, yeah, 23 hits. Um, roll damage. Ooh. I mean, oh, two. You needed a two, yeah. No, yep. so that one is now dead as well. It turns <laughs> to ice. Sat freezes and falls and shatters to the floor. Um, nope. Right, cool. Miko. Okay, so Miko is gonna raise this thing 20 more feet in the air, just a little whoosh. And okay, yes. So you are reach your hands and just whoop. As he's doing this, he's gonna kind of yell out, just so, you know, to the room in general, uh, just like you know, uh, Miko does not wish to um, inconvenience anyone, but Miko has a, a heavy load on his hands. I, some, you know, hello, <laughs> Miko, <laughs> maybe some help. <laughs> <laughs> the Vankeg is just thrashing around. Um, it's going to try and get its acid breath back. To no avail. Uh, it's just thrashing around in midair and just screeching. Um, Hugo, you're up. Uh, I'm going to try and cast uh, Toll the Dead on these bugs. See if that works. <laughs> Poor bugs. Okay, the bugs, the swarm of insects. Um, hold up, I need to... Um, Wisdom. Um... Yeah, apparently these bugs do have wisdom. Oh my god. <laughs> apparently they have a wisdom. It's a minus two, but they do have a wisdom. Right, they fail. They take the necrotic damage and they take all of it. You watch as loads of these insects just wither and die. Um, as you outstretch your hand and there's the sound of bells. 
and they take the d12 because they were damaged already. Um, they're still alive. There's only there's only like four of the fuckers left out of the 22 that are originally there, but <laughs> there's not. They're still alive. Um, so that'll be your turn. The sprites. Um, the the one. sprite. <laughs> the sprite is going to fire its short bow at Hugo. What's your armor class, Hugo, it's now? Ten, 21. Oh, it's gone to 23, so you take one point of piercing damage. <laughs> no! Oh god! Oh no, I'm gonna die. I should have given these fuckers poison. I should have stuck with the poison. <laughs> yeah. um, the swarm of insects fucking doesn't do anything. Zeta, you're up. Very frost the last bitch. Okay, um, you very frost the sprite. That misses, unfortunately. It just darts just out of the way. Um, it doesn't matter if hand. I'm a sorcerer or a rogue arcane trickster. I can't do magic. <laughs> uh, Miko, you're up. Okay, so anime put something in the chat, and I want to see if it's right. Um, something about fall damage. He says, I think it's 1d6 for every 10 feet, maximum of 20d6? Yes, it is. Okay, so this thing is 40 feet in the air. Uh-huh. Can Miko just Make drop it? <laughs> <laughs> if you if you do that, you will lose concentration on the spell. You will be ending the spell. Um, yeah. So you can't just drop the damn. Thing. But I mean, will it'll it take? take 20 or you can D6. put him up in the that last twenty feet. It will take it will take four d six damage um, from the fall, which may or may not be enough to kill it, depending on how much. It rolls oh, that's right. Because it's every ten it feet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. So no, he'll go 20, 20 more feet up. Yeah. We're okay, not ready. Quite, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Need a little bit more. So if you move it up. If you move it up another 20 feet, it will be within reach of the ceiling. Ooh, so okay. Feet, let's, yeah, let's go be... 10 feet, yeah. Okay. So if you move, yeah, if you move it 20, it will get there. in reach. <laughs> okay, so it's now 50 feet in the Are air. Are you happy? You burn me um, for skin, very hard to replace. It is not happy. It is going to try and recharge its um, acid breath. It recharges the acid breath, um, and it spits <laughs> it acid aim? at you. Is Make it a gonna dexterity aim throw, well? please. <laughs> How's its aim from up there? It's fine, it's just a line. <laughs> it's a 30 foot... It's a, yeah, it's, it's vomiting on you. Uh, you make the save, so you take half of the damage. Bad! Um, Bad! What did I say? So you, ma you manage to just duck out of the way. Um, you take half of 13, so that's 6 acid damage. Uh, make a constitution saving throw, please. 9. Um, you fail. Um, so the uh, the ankeg is no longer flying. <laughs> And it plummets the 50 feet. Um, so it's 5d6. And crashes six. and smashes into the table. Um, so the Ankeg will take 5d6 from that. So the Ankeg takes 18 points of damage um, as it slams into the floor um, and destroys the table in the process. Um, it then, clicking angrily, um, stands up in the space. Ah! Uh, that's the end of its turn. Uh, Hugo, you're up. Okay. Uh, one more Toll the Dead on these bugs. Okay. Toll the oh, Dead. For fuck's sake, Hugo. Oh, that does it. <laughs> um, they make the save. Oh, no. Amazingly, the swarm makes the save and resists the effects of the toll. God damn it. They are not dying today. <laughs> apparently. Bugs. Um, sprites. Sprite. Singular. Um, shortbow. Eight. Miss. Misses. <laughs> uh, bugs. Mm, four of them. Bite. Misses. <laughs> Zeta, you're up. <laughs> God, those things are fucking worthless. Yes, you managed to blast <laughs> the final strike <laughs> and end its misery. <laughs> um, Thank God. All right, finally. Seven points again. Snap freeze and slams to the floor dead. All right, um, uh, she is actually going to jump over the table and get to like the edge of the okay. Yeah, so you can, you can oh, move, someone's you coming over feet. here! Oh! Um, that's a little, that's a little like five foot balcony, by the way. Um, okay. That you'd have to sort of hop over if you wanted to get down. No, I don't. <laughs> yeah, just for future turn, you've used all your movement to get there anyway. Okay, Miko, there is again a very angry Ankeg in your face. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> hmm. Back to square one. Well, I can't do that because it's totally hostile. So, uh. Let's see. <laughs> he gets disadvantage because it's like right there, right? You do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you're attacking it from ranged, if you like use your staff or your knife or something to try and stab it, you'd be fine. But oh god, if you he... were casting pretty much any of your spells, he has like no strength. He's hmm? not gonna flop it. Uh, 
he's, he's just he's just gonna go for it, you know, and just which bolt worked really well before, so maybe <laughs> okay, things are in his um, favor. This would be a first level witch bolt then, because you we are at second level slots. Yeah. Um, but make your make your attack roll with disadvantage, so we'll take the low of the two numbers. And it automatically gives you the two numbers, right? Yeah, it does. Okay, that's good. Fourteen. Um, fourteen. That is its armor class, so you do hit. Uh, roll damage. Ah! <laughs> How do you, oops, I hit it again. Ignore that, ignore that. It was not <laughs> that good. Okay, so click, click where it says Witch Bolt on the first one. Oh, that's right. That's how you do it. You click in the chat. Yeah. Level one. There. Okay, so you, you reach out your hands, and again, a torrent of lightning extends, and you just start to zap the poor creature, and it starts screaming. I'm so close it to me, still, It is still alive. Um, the Ankeg. Uh, see if it gets its acid back. Um, it does get its acid Jeez. back. Um, unfortunately, it's gonna just fuck the acid. It's gonna try and <laughs> bite like you. They're like spitting in each other's faces. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, Twenty-three. I guess that hits you. I do the dex save. No, no. This is it's biting you. Oh, it's biting. Does, oh, okay. Does twenty-three hit your armor class? Oh god, yeah, it's twelve. Okay. Uh, you take thirteen slashing damage and four acid damage. So okay. Seventeen damage total. So Mikkel has no way to like avoid these things. No. Nope. So Mikkel is unconscious. Okay, so you oh, watch shit. as the Ankeg just grabs Mikkel and he's being grappled now. Oh my! Um, so he grabs, it grabs Mikkel I mean, and, and Mikkel just goes limp. Um, Mikkel! Okay, just starts thrashing around with this thing in its mouth. I am um, Mikkel. <laughs> he says weakly as he passes into unconsciousness. Um, Hugo, you're up. Right, okay, um, I'm gonna move towards the bug. Uh, yeah, the big one. Okay, um, the swarm of insects does get an attack of opportunity. That's <laughs> fine. <laughs> uh, stupid it bugs. No, it is actually there, by the way. Um, yeah. So, no, it starts nibbling at you, and no, it's, it's it hasn't even got through your armor yet. It's just... No. Uh, no, nothing. Uh, okay, you're... What are you doing? Right. I'm going to first the long sword. Yeah, that misses, unfortunately. Shit, then I'll action uh, surge. Okay, yeah, action surge. For another swing. That hits, roll damage. Seven. Seven was exactly what you needed. How do you want to Ooh. do this? Aw, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's go for a shield bash and a good stab. Okay, so you swing the longsword and just pings off the army like fucking... Right. Double down, shield, you you slam it um, into one of its side legs and you manage to hit it with enough force to flip it over. It's there on the table, writhing around, soft underbelly exposed. You reach down and sink your sword directly into its soft underbelly. Um, it starts writhing in pain. The, uh, the legs sort of curl up like a spider's and then it falls limp. Its mouth opens, Meekle's um, unconscious form just rolls out. Um, so that is the end of your turn, the swarm. Oh god! <laughs> Still here. Stupid um, going bugs. to move towards its only other target it can sense, um, which is the little girl over here. Um, so it's going to make bites at your ankles, Zeta. Go away, you stupid bugs! Um, seven, no. <laughs> it, is not, it does not succeed. Um, you are... It's your turn, Zeta. Um, I'm going to <laughs> use prayer of healing. That uh, takes 10 minutes to cast. Oh, does it? It's a 10 minute spell. Jeez, okay, never mind. You can start if you want. Mika appreciates no. the thought. <laughs> Appreciate the thought. <laughs> I just use Ray of Frost on the stupid bugs next to me. Okay, they're, they're in your feet, so you have disadvantage. Uh, but that would be, that would be a miss, because yeah. Seven does not hit them. Um, so Miko, uh, death saving throw, please. Okay, how do you do that? Okay, so on your on your character sheet. Yes. Um, there is. Uh, so it says death saves somewhere in the middle next to where it says hit dice. So if you click where it says death saves. Oh yes. Okay, I hit that. Right. Yeah, just click the click where it says death save. Okay, that's a one. That's one success. So you can tick yeah. one of the boxes. Um, Hugo, you're up. Uh, okay. Let's see. I, will, I guess I'll told the dead on the bugs again. Hey, <laughs> told the dead. Told the dead. 
It fails. Um, yes. as oh they shrivel up and die. Thank and God. As, you, as you're just jumping around and say to these things, just curl up and shrivel and disintegrate into ash around you. Oh, finally. And that is the end of the feast. Um, for the sake of fuckery, um, you can make another death saving throw, please, before anyone can get to you. Okay, where did that go again? There it is. It's a fail. <laughs> um, are any of you helping? No, uh, I can. <laughs> Okay. So I can uh, spare the dying FTG. I'm gonna oh, find, start using that prayer, start casting up that prayer, prayer of healing, I guess. Okay, so you start ca casting prayer of healing. Um, are you using spare the dying, uh, Hugo? Yeah, well. Okay, so Hugo, you bend down and you um, you touch the still body of Mikkel, which, looking at him now, he doesn't look much different to how he normally looks. Um, thinking back, it's like, wait, you, you start checking his breathing. He's like, wait, did you ever ever see him breathing? Blink, mm -hmm. and his eyes are just like wide open still. A uh, smile, he's got a stupid smile on his face. <laughs> um, oh God! You touch him, and um, Mikkel, you feel the the uh, the energy, the necrotic energy, sort of wave over you. Um, mm. You're not conscious. You're not conscious yet. Um, but after ten minutes, um, Zeta's chanting. Um, roll your roll your healing, Zeta. So Mikul, you regain uh, twelve points of um, twelve, well, twelve hit points, ah. and you're back to consciousness. That felt you... funny. <laughs> you were bit, Mikul. Are you okay? Oh, Mikul! Uh, I mean, oh, Mikul, that <laughs> hurt. Ooh. And Zeta, you're healing. You're certain you used the spell correctly, but it didn't feel like it had any effect. And you guys are both looking at Miko, and the bite marks are still there. And nothing has changed. He's just uh, now moving and speaking again. Miko? Yes, was it you who brought me back to... Uh... Life! Little human girl! Maybe we should go see a doctor. No, no, Miko feels wonderful. Whatever you did, just healed Miko up. Totally, completely, 100%. Good job! Nico, you've got a piece of your side missing. I do! I do! Oh! Uh, Miko can fix that later. Or, or <laughs> now! Can Miko fix it now? Um, it's a bit of a big chunk. Um, you can start casting Mending on it if you want. And, and, he, and, and he'll, yeah, he'll start to, a really mending. quick little mending, yeah. mending thing. Uh, um, you guys watch as oh. both of you have arcane knowledge watch as Mikul takes a spell which is normally used for mending clothes and starts trying to sew together his own body. And <laughs> as we close this adventure, you watch as through the gap you see these small little tentacles um, <laughs> dangling down in the hole in his abdomen. Uh, and that will be the end knew. of today's adventure. So thank you very uh, much <laughs> all of you for joining me. No um, sorry that went on quite short uh, it's only a two hour adventure but there we go um, hopefully you all enjoyed it the mystery of Miko never to the be revealed yeah. I'm sure a we know <laughs> um, uh, it's up to Emma if she wants to ever share with you guys what the hell Miko is <laughs> well now I'm starting yeah. to think Miko's like some animated doll that this tiny little creature is living inside of and controlling <laughs> no <know>. comment um, <laughs> The so yes, thank you Twitch chat for um, sticking with us. Uh, thank you for to the players, uh, Leia's feedback and distracted gamer. Woo! And yeah. yes, hope you guys enjoy. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. -bye.